I'm talking to you. Is that your typical phrase there, the thank you for holding? I normally say, uh, I say, I normally say, thank you for holding. <laughs> That's what you just said. Well, I, I said, thank you for holding. You know, I normally say, thank you for holding. Oh, yeah, it's, yeah. yeah it's, you, hit, you hit the word differently. So, are, are, did you start the recording on your mic? I just, I just started my mic over here. Uh, yeah, I started it about, uh, you know, eight or nine seconds ago. Well, then we started about the same time. Yeah, you know what? Let me feels... put, I'm gonna, I, I, did, I forgot. Let me put you in the um, in my headphones because I have you on speakerphone now. And I oh, think... yeah, don't do that. I, okay. got you, I got you on headphones right now. It just, I feel like... I feel like a whole advanced species right here. I got. Oh wow! I'm all this hands is... free. I'm I'm hands free. You should see me. I'm hands free. I have a mic going. I feel like it's starting to feel a little bit more official. You know, it's starting. Oh, I, to feel, yeah, I, I feel pretty official. It's starting to feel as official as sitting in the Costanza's garage, with um, with uh, why am Lloyd I... Braun. La Lloyd Braun. Yeah. Why aren't you more like Lloyd Braun? And in the end, Lloyd Braun became more like you. <laughs> you know what? Uh, the um, so where was Lloyd Brown? I, uh, Lloyd, <laughs> Lloyd Braun. Where was he held? I, I know it was a mental institution, but they referred to it as something else. No, they never told us the name. I don't think they referred to it as oh he was in the loony bin or he was in. Meant he like it was a it was a, a really neat phrasing. You don't remember what it was? I thought Kramer said he had to be institutionalized, and then George says, and then George was talking to Dina, and he goes, "Yeah, Lloyd Braun." Uh, he goes, "Speaking of crazy, did you hear about Lloyd Braun?" He goes, "Yeah, after he botched the uh, Dinkins campaign, they had to lock him up." <laughs> That's what he said. Okay, yeah, you know, and then because I guess Ser Serenity now was used as a tactic in the. In the in the lunatar uh, lunasarium, what we what's the old-fashioned term for a, a lunatarium? That's definitely not a term. You just made that up. Uh, hold on, it's a sanitarium. Why couldn't you tell me that? You knew that's what, correct. Yeah. So I guess Serenity now was a tactic in the sanitarium, and that's how he knew that it didn't work. <laughs> yeah, I love how he says it at the end with that smile on his face. He yeah. goes, yeah, you might want to tell your dad the whole Serenity Now thing doesn't work. It just <laughs> bottles up the anger and then you explode. I love Serenity Now, Insanity Later. <laughs> yeah, that's what he says too. And I love the, uh, I love Kramer just sitting in the, in the hallway just rocking back and forth after the kids, the neighborhood kids attacked him. Just going, Serenity Now, Serenity Now, Serenity Now, Serenity Now. Can you hear me when I talk quietly or no? I can hear you when you talk quietly, when, yeah, when you talk normal. I can... That's great, because I, I, uh, I have the phone, like, just sitting about three feet away, and that's pretty cool that you can pick up. So, like, I'm going to say something quiet. I want you to tell me what I said. Alfalfa. You said alfalfa sprouts? <laughs> Wow, that's awesome. I said that very quietly. That's well, great. I, then, honestly, I guessed on the sprouts, but I heard that, I didn't actually say sprouts. I the, just okay, said alfalfa. Okay, because all I heard was alfalfa, <laughs> but I, I just kind of figured that, you know, there is a, a connection there. So I, um, I said alfalfa sprouts. But you know what? That got me in trouble in school. Why am I picking something that's not there? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Alfalfa sprouts got you in trouble? No, the uh, the idea of of assuming that, you know, that connection was there cuz I would have got 100% on this exam if I would have just said what I heard. I heard alfalfa. Why couldn't I say it? But I in my head I'm thinking, well, how many times in my life have I heard someone say alfalfa without alfalfa sprouts? Rarely. So I said, and this all happened within like a maybe a half a second tops. Yeah. So am I like I, I do have a, you know it is four forty three Eastern time right here. So I do technically have seventeen minutes of work. I I, I really got to put you on a brief hold. But I will say, are you kidding me? I know, but I will say thank you for holding when I come back. So hold on one second. <laughs> what sort of podcast is this? Unreal. I guess I'll talk to myself.
Hmm. All right, self. What do we want to talk about? <sighs> well, there's mango. See, mango's a nice fruit, but there's such a discrepancy between the red mangoes, the big gigantic ones, you know, they're stringy, versus the golden delicious. You know, they're smaller, but tastier, better consistency, tangier, much tangier. But at the stores, you normally just see the big mango. And I don't know if I have anything else to add about that. But it's something worth thinking about. Hmm. Why does everyone call any sort of winged insect with a stinger a wasp? Yeah, that's a, that's a decent one. I think that's okay. That's okay. Hmm. I really wish, uh, you know, this team podcast would have another member. I guess I could be Nico and I could be myself. Let's see how that works out. Okay. So what did I want to discuss? Wow, you don't have an idea? No, no, I have an idea. I just, I'm not sure what it is. Well, here's a, here's a question for you. Okay. I, oh, you're I, back? I, no, I'm not back yet, so I'm not saying thank you for holding, but I am saying it's, uh, I'm about 32 seconds away from being done, so hold on one second. Yeah, let's close the diaper deal. Oh, what was I saying to myself and pretending to be Nicole? Um, oh, here's a trivia question. Uh, what is the name of the girl George dated who said that she would rather die than not be with George? Oh, that's a good one. Hmm. Thank you for holding. This is Nicole, and I have you back on the line. Hello? Hello? Yep, hold on. Why, why is, I, I have you, uh... What are you doing over there? I, I'm trying to get the, um... Is, is this it right here? Now I got you in the headphones. There you go. There we go. We had a little glitch in the system. So what were you selling? So I was, uh, you know, I'm, uh, I'm working with um, a logistics company. So I was actually, I'm trying to get a, a, a load of rice to a food bank in Fort Pierce, Florida, out of Louisiana. And uh, it's proven to be very difficult because no one wants to come to Louisiana right now. I mean, sorry, no one wants to come to Florida right now because there's nothing coming out. So <clears throat> that's it. I've been to Fort Pierce. It's okay. Well, you know, it, it's funny because I've been working on this load all day long and I Googled Fort Pierce surfing and I was watching some surfing. Yeah, that's... Yeah. Yeah, the, when I was there, there was a big swell, but it was like really choppy and windy. So like some of the waves were maybe, they were way overhead, but getting out there was really tough. Like I almost drowned just getting out there and I ended up not even catching one wave really. And uh, I even got to see a shark out there. Yeah, you still with me, or are you back on the phone? No, I feel no. like I'm talking. I really have been talking to myself for like eight well, minutes here. Well, you know, when I when I first swapped over, you go, "That's a good question." I didn't know if you had a call in. You know, it's only our, our second episode. I didn't know if you had the buzz going. <laughs> yeah, I need to get one of those little light up things. I would love. Oh, that. we got a caller on line one. Caller, what's your problem? Oh, and look, it's it's George and Elaine. Come on down. <laughs> That would be fun, but we nobody's watching this yet, so we need to have people watch, and then maybe people could call in if we ever go live. But I would love to obviously go. if they called into today's show, it would be <laughs> it would be pretty strange. And they called in the last show, they would they would hear you trying to get your garage band to work. So we we got some uh, well, there is. To, to sort out here. Yeah. 
So wait, uh, wait. Here's the question. Look, I, I had a whole conversation pretending that I was talking with you and I also voiced you. And the question you ended up asking me was what is the name of George's girlfriend who says that if George breaks up with her, she doesn't want to live? And I thought that was a good question you asked. Yeah, I thought it was. So what's the answer? I don't know. You asked it. Yeah, I know, but I'm, I'm, I'm asking you. So, I, you know, you provide the answer. I'm trying to think because that was the outing episode. And that was also where George reminded her that he is a uh, buck naked, a porno actor. And I'm trying to remember her name was very boring. Maybe it was like Shelly or Sharice or something. It's I don't Shelley, know. It's Shelly, yeah. Very good. Is it really Shelly? Yeah, you, I mean, listen, why are you surprised at yourself? How many times have you watched every single episode all the way through? Four, at least. Maybe six. I feel like there's some, there's some I might have only watched two. Come on, you've seen every single one more than two times? You're, you're, well, you're there's some that I've probably seen ten times or more. One that I've seen four times or more is Kenny Rogers' Chicken. Oh, that's one of my all-time favorites. Mm -hmm. um, and it's mainly because, you know, I've talked... Kenny! Kenny! <laughs> it's, <Can they? laughs> it's mainly because I've talked to you about this many times, and it's not like it's a, a secret that Jerry is not a good actor, but when he does the role stop yeah. and you, he barges into the apartment, I love... I, you know, he, he, he does an okay job. And you, you see when he does barge in, he's smirking the entire time. That's the best acting he's ever done in his life. <laughs> it is. It really is. But it's still not good acting. Like, he still no. doesn't capture, you know, Kramer. And, he, and, he's, and he's laughing while he's doing it. He's smirking while he's doing it, so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, well, I was, <laughs> I was trying to find a good way to transition to this, and I didn't come up with one. So, I'm going to say this. Um, uh-huh. Today, I was thinking about, just thinking briefly about our podcast and thinking about, like, you know, what's happening in, in my life, and I, I, I thought, like, oh, man, because my dad's getting a surgery, right, a hip surgery. He's out. Thought, he's, he's out. He's out, though, the surgery. He, but are these, I heard that he might yeah, spend no, the I, I, Okay. Right, yeah. I, I conveyed all that information through the appropriate channels that then got to you. Oh. What I was going to add, well, yeah, I told Mamo. Okay. And Mamo told you. <laughs> Probably. Um, Mamo is, our, grand, gonna... is our grandmother, by the way. Sorry, I keep cutting you You're off. You're correct. <laughs> You're correct on that. Um, but what I was going to say is there better not be some intern in there with some junior mints. But, there, you know, but why would you have not? That's a great transition, by the way. And it, it is. Um, it I does... thought it was kind of weak. Well, I thought it shows courage that you're trying to make this transition over a real life situation about your dad having surgery and about, you know, um, so an intern with Junior Mints or maybe because what, what if his surgery was um, was viewed by other medical students? So would you be more worried? Yeah, that's why or? I thought it would be an intern. Okay. Oh, so. oh, you think it's like a real, I don't know what, I don't know what their classifications are. I don't know all that stuff. Okay, so anyways, um, <laughs> yeah, that, I guess it is a weak transition now that I think of it, but, uh, <laughs> but, 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 but what I was going to say is, why would oh. you, why would you not want an intern or whatever, you know, phraseology we're going to use towards this person, why would you not want them to have junior mints? Because I thought in the long run, the the minty fresh actually helped in the recovery yeah they think it did stave off the infection that's a good point um <laughs> i don't know because i i think it might have caused the problem too i think it both caused the problem <laughs> and then solved its own problem that's what i think happened but again uh no science will back me up on this but something from above <laughs> <laughs> it was and then the re whatever the rest of that sentence is okay real quick something i remembered that i was going to tell you yesterday but i forgot uh -huh. is that um i went to see mamo which as you probably remember 
is our grandmother. Is, is our grandmother. Me. Yeah. Yeah, you informed me that earlier today. <laughs> uh-huh. Um, and I, I texted her. I said, I'm heading over. And this was yesterday. Uh-huh. And she responded. <laughs> sorry. She responded <laughs> with a text. Fine, comma, Sergio to be. <laughs> No, 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 no. And it's even a capital S on Sergio. That's Fine, good. comma, Sergio to be, T-B-E. No, so, now, what do you think it meant? So, fine, comma, should be, or, um, should... Oh, should like, what was she trying to see say? See you soon, maybe? Um, did, 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 we <laughs> already men- to be. did we already mention that this is our grandmother? Have we mentioned that? You know, I don't know. Maybe you should mention it. It is our grandmother, and she is 92, or soon to be 92. Almost. Soon, almost 92. Soon yeah. to be 92. Um, so the fact that she can... The fact that she can... Um, Capitalize the S on Sergio. Or even open an iPhone is, yeah. pretty, is pretty amazing. But Well, you know, the first two she had, she thought she was supposed to use a can opener. Yeah. That's correct, yeah. Yeah. I don't know what that means, but I'm agreeing. Yeah, yeah, because you're, you're a millennial. You don't know about those, those things, those contractions. You're, I'm an elder millennial. You're, you're um, more of a youthful millennial than I am. Oh, yeah, that's true. Oh, yeah. So back to the uh, Junior Mint. Um, that's one of my all-time favorite episodes, and... I think that's the same doctor that came in to tell George that Susan had, uh, what did, what was he, how did he phrase it? She's moved on? What was it? She's, she's moved on? I don't, but wasn't that the same doctor? Are you looking it up? No, I'm not. I'm actually, oh. because, you know, in Eastern time, it's 4.56 p.m., so technically, I am working for another four minutes. Um, so I've been, I've been, I, and I, I think you can appreciate uh, my multitasking abilities. I mean, are I you think, working right now? Or you have another shipment of rice? I'm trying to get this one done. Like I, I, I was able to secure somebody, but um, they're not. They have bad safety scores. So my company. Um, not my company, but the company I sell for as an aspiring latex salesman does not allow me to work. Yeah, Vandalay. Yeah, and you want to be my latex salesman. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm, I, may, I may have been on a, a dating app or two at uh-huh. one point, and I put, I put my job as what it is, photographer, but I put company name as Vandalay Industries, and I haven't gotten anybody who's contacted me about it and oh, I'm a little I am bit actively, sad. I am, con- I am currently actively on three dating website ad platforms and on all three it says sales at Craymerica Industries. <laughs> and not once That's have awesome. I had, you should have You should put inter- intern at Craymerica. You know, I should put intern because... Currently, you know, what are you doing today? We're currently testing... An oil containment system at play now. <laughs> I, I love when when he like you know Jerry has heard everything under the sun from from Kramer, but I love when uh, Kramer pitches that idea. He goes, "It's actually not too bad." Now get out. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, that. I love that. That's actually not too bad. Yeah. Hello, yeah. and that you know that that's full circle because you know when you call. Right. That's how you greeted me today. Yeah, I mean I'll greet you, probably, you know. Thank you for holding tomorrow, but today it was hello. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I've made the choice. I picked the. I, I picked the voice. Really, we're yeah. kinda, we're kind of done with it. Yeah. <laughs> then he got her back, <laughs> and then lost her again. But you know, he lost her in the most, um, you know, in the most selfless. Uh, um, Wait, God, uh, why am I blanking on on these words? What's the what's the word for um, what's the word for being truly selfless? Uh, there's some article with Freud about how no, how no one is truly. 
What is that? What is that word? Oh my goodness. It's what, what's wrong with selfless? Because it's elementary. There, there's a better word here. We're adults. There, there's a better word. It's, um... We're all adults here. Heroic? No, not heroic. It's, uh... <laughs> I sh I sh oh my goodness. You know what I'm talking about, where you put all of... You put no, but I think we should spend another four or five minutes on figuring this one out. If you're serious, I'm down to do it. <laughs> <laughs> this podcast is going to be compute technical issues in computers and trying to figure out one word for five minutes. You know what? But I, I feel like people will... Uh, <laughs> We'll be interested. You're still in trying to figure it out, aren't you? No, you, no. Are you looking it altruistic, up yet? What are you doing? Altruistic. I'm an idiot. You just looked it up, didn't I did you? Look, I did look it up. Yeah, but it's altruism. So, you know, Jerry was being... That's the, not necessarily even selfless. Altruism is giving back, but it's not necessarily selfless. It means that you would give back at all costs, even if it hurts yourself. The definition of altruism, though, altruistic, yeah, let's hear altruism... It does contain the word selfless in the definition. It's showing a disinterested and selfless concern for the well-being of others. Unselfish. You said disinterested? Showing a disinterested and selfless concern. Disinterested? Yeah, I don't know why that... that this what, is, what, what is this, Urban Dictionary? No, this is Oxford Dictionary. It, it P says... Call Merriam. Why? That is crazy. Call Showing Miriam. a dis... I only know Webster. You might know Miriam, but I, I've only been friends with Webster growing Showing a Yeah, give her a call. She just started a website. Okay. I will. But listen, I, you know, I, I think that, you know, all of our listeners will... Because... <laughs> <laughs> all, all two of them. You and me. Well, yeah. you know, there's a buzz going on around here, and I think that... I have, I have heard the buzz. Yeah, it, well, it's buzzing. I'll tell you. Oh, it's buzzing. <laughs> Dang, there was something I was going to... Oh, oh, so um, this is another thing related to Seinfeld that I was thinking about today, right? So, um, I, you know, we trade stocks. Remember? You oh, I know. And, oh, and I me. know. We both do. Yeah. So I was... Uh, I have a stock that's... Uh, it was dropping pretty low the other day. Do you want to share and, with uh, the listeners maybe and say that you're a little bearish on it? No, I'm. I I needed to be bullish. But oh. I already own it. I already own it. Okay. Yeah. Um, but I thought of I thought of the stock tip, and I think of that all the time because I think they did such a good job with that episode because that is that totally captures how people are in the market. Like right now, I am George, and I am in the stage of I'm going down with the ship. But at the beginning, in some in some other stocks, I was Jerry. And like as soon as it started going down, I got nervous and I just had to sell it. You know? Do you remember that episode? Yes, I remember the the stock episode. Um, and everyone was. It's called the stock tip. Everyone was invested, right? Well, like no, Elaine no. And George? Kramer wasn't. No, Kramer was not. Elaine was not. And all they would do was they would open up a newspaper and show Jerry that the stock was down. That was that was their contribution. You know, stocks have been a reoccurring um, in you know noun in the show because you know you have you have a lot of discussion about um, Elaine getting the stock stock options. Stock options. So that really bothered like cuz in real life if you have stock options and let's say she exercised the stock options and bought them at a discount that the, her company yeah. was providing. She wouldn't lose. Yeah. She wouldn't lose them when he came back. Right, she, but she. I don't think she exercised. Well, she should have exercised. She should have exercised because she should have realized she was doing such a poor job that. Because if she exercised, happened, but, she would have been sticking it to George for a lot longer. Right. Oh yeah, yeah. With the coffee machine, and everything. She's yeah. sticking it to me, um, Jerry. She's sticking it to But me. I was think I was thinking about that too and, and some of the one of the biggest perks of the stock options that they give you is that you you get it at the price it is right then, but then you get it like as long as you're with the company like ten years later. So it really wouldn't make sense for her to exercise 
because it would be at the price it was the day they gave her that option. You know Which what I mean? Which was incredibly low, though, because Peterman was, was away. It was probably, yeah, it, it was probably lower, but if, if she could exercise that low price, oh, like okay. five years in the future, like, wow, then she could also know how much it was already going to gain. She could exercise right away and, and even sell if she wanted to and make probably multiple tens of thousands of dollars. Yeah. And you know, that is one option. And I'm sure another listener, if you're listening, can call in now. Are we li We're live, right? Yeah, yeah. Call in right now. So call in now if you have a different, uh, if you have a different. Wait, wait, wait. I got someone online three. I That's, do. I, <laughs> I have some on line one over here. Which one do you want to take? Take line one. Okay. Uh, where's the button? Uh, okay. Uh, caller, you are now live with a show, sorry, a podcast about something. First time we've ever said this on the air. Now, caller, state your name, state where you're calling from, and please, did we ask a question for you? Tell us now. Uh, hello, my name is Earl. I'm calling from Mississippi. I love your show. Thank oh, you for, Earl, thank, so you for nice. calling. thank you for calling in. Thank you for calling in. Can now, you hear Earl? Can you hear Earl, Nicole? I can hear Earl. Thank you. Now, Earl, I do want to let you know that the- ah, I love your show. Oh, thank you, Earl. I, I want to let you know that, you know, the great state of, You know what? I, can I patch the other person on line three in as well? Uh, I think we should resolve this Earl business first. Earl, what's the answer to the question? Oh, I don't know. I'm just so happy to talk to you on the air, and I love your show. Keep doing it. Oh, sorry. I accidentally cut him off. Yeah, well, well you know, that that's great. And you can tell... Um, you know, someone from Mississippi, I'm sure he's seen a lot in, and you know, they, they are definitely, um, they call it the corporate heart of America, Mississippi. Um, you know, most corporations are, are based there and, um, I'm sure he did have the answer, but thank you for calling Earl. I think it's the intellectual capital of the world too, from what I've read. Well, you know, I don't know intellectual, but I would say corporate capital of the world. Um, yeah, but Biloxi I mean, for sure. Well, Belux oh, Biloxi, yeah. I mean, there is... Yeah, you better Belux it. You better Belux it. Now, I do have someone on, on line three. Um, caller, are you still there? No, anyways. I, uh... I... You know what? You got, you got the wrong <laughs> two-line phone. They probably heard you the whole time. Well, I have a two-line phone, but the thing is, um, most of my calls are filtered through the office phone, which doesn't come onto the studio phone here. It's, it's incredibly difficult, and I would need someone from Biloxi to explain it. But anyways. Did you just put me on speaker for a second? No, I took the right headphone out of my ear to... There, there, I, I sensed that. Yeah. That's, a, that's amazing that you had that sort of sense. It's almost as good as me hearing alfalfa, not sprouts. Sprouts. <laughs> so, yeah. you know, uh, I, I didn't, honestly, I, um, I, I didn't expect for you to call today because, you know, we did talk tomorrow, um, but. We already I, talked tomorrow? <laughs> wow. I didn't that's expect you to call tomorrow stuff. because we talked yesterday. I didn't expect for you to call today because we talked yesterday. Oh, okay. That yeah. one makes sense. Um, because I would like to actually have some sort of substance because this is a show about something. It is. It's a I thought we had some substance. Were you, you had a problem with the substances? I have a problem. Like, I feel like we've mentioned a couple different shows, but most of it has been a lot of nothing. And this is about something. And I want to let all of our listeners know that it is about okay something. okay look look this is the show you're not going to change the show no, this is got, what we're doing to, will, and that's to be, final or, or i'm walking out will you don't understand it's got to be you we got to have something here okay you got to have you know listen oh, i'm I've in got the something. business i'm in oh you tell your little jokes okay you're you're not you know you're not in the business gary this is this is the this is the big leagues this is hollywood we're in Hollywood? 
oh, I was throwing in another episode when he was bootlegging. Listen, you think you're in the big... This is the big leagues, Jerry. This is Hollywood. <laughs> he said, oh, yeah, this isn't... Yeah, this isn't your little stand-up anymore. <laughs> this isn't your little yeah, side Kramer. show, you know, I'll yeah. let's tell a couple jokes. This is the big li- This is the big li- One of my favorite George lines is in the, uh, the show The Race. And uh, it's when George agrees to pretend like he hasn't seen Jerry for like 15 years and then corroborate the story about Jerry not getting a head start in front of Duncan Meyer. And first of all, when George pauses in front of that table, just has his mouth wide open, looking at Jerry and everybody at the table, that alone is a beautiful moment. But when uh, when, when uh, George says, uh, oh, so what do you do? And Jerry goes, oh, stand-up comedian. George goes, ah, yeah, yeah. Seems a lot of people are doing that these days. Jerry goes, yeah, yeah. He goes, what do you do? A lot of that uh, do you notice sort of stuff. And Jerry's like, yeah, yeah. Goes, and then uh, and then Jerry goes, wow, you, went wow, you really went bald <laughs> yes. there. Yes, yes, that is good. <laughs> and George smiling going, yeah, yeah. The first Jerry million's a always full, the... thick head of hair. George well, goes, he yeah, says the first yeah. million's always the hardest. Isn't that what they say? Yeah, and, but he's, yeah, and he says, I guess it was around the time I made my first million that uh, <laughs> started going bald. Yeah, that was good. I, I really, I'm going to stand by what I said in all seriousness. I don't think we should structure anything too much. Okay. But you can have things that you bring up, and I think we should always have at least one trivia question, maybe maybe two. But yeah, let's I, end, I let's like end the show now. a little looser. Yeah, let's end the show now because I, it is. I, I do have to get ready, and I'm biking to meet someone to go biking. Um, yeah, you're biking to meet someone so that then you can go biking. Yeah, so I'm not actually biking till I get there, but I'm biking there. Sounds reasonable. Okay, so let's end the show with two trivia questions. I ask one, you ask one, and I think that's a okay. Good, you know, I like you said, no structure. You know, it's about something. We'll end it with one or two trivia questions. and um... Yeah, because I, I also don't want it to be just about Seinfeld. I mean, that's that's good, but I don't I don't feel like we should stretch everything to make it always fit. But if it, if it fits and it's relevant and it's fun, then that's what we should do. Giddy up. Okay, so yeah. first, um, first question I'm going to ask is my only question I'm going to ask. Uh... When Kramer is working at Brant Leland, what is his breakfast been in the morning? Oh, that's a good one. I feel like it was eggs. It was eggs, and you remember Jerry go. Remember, because this is you, Kramer's always been a fruit guy, and, and and Jerry I think offers and says, well, you should really have a piece of fruit with that. Are you, he says something about his nutrition intake in the morning, and on some on some aspect he says he says, oh, you sh- you know, you need to be doing more than than coffee and eggs or something, um, and <clears throat> and Kramer says no time or something like that. Yeah, but it, it yeah. was it was eggs, but. I thought it was interesting because uh, eggs. <laughs> eggs. Okay, so what do you got? Eggs. And then I gotta, I gotta get ready to bike. Yeah, to go bike, to go to, bike. Um, yeah, okay, so bike. mine is actually a line that I <clears throat> that I remembered this morning. Uh, so it's it's like a different style of trivia. It's actually not very hard. Okay. But remember in the uh, the hot tub episode, right? Um, <clears throat> Elaine is watching a runner, mm-hmm. and at one point, uh, George is over at Jerry's house. Jerry gets a phone call, and he ends the call, and he goes, I got the call. Yeah. And then what? what is said next, and then what is said right after that? I, I believe it was George commenting on uh, Elaine's um, lack of timeliness, right? No. I got the call, and then... Yep, Jerry it, says, I got the call, then George says something, then Jerry says something. George says, I guess something, well, you gotta go, or something. 
<laughs> you gotta go. No, okay, here's a hint. They say the exact same thing. What did you mean by this wasn't that hard to pick out an exact line? I mean, I can picture the, you know, I well, can Well, they're pic- saying the exact same thing. Though. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, you ready? Yeah. All right. <clears throat> I got the call. George <laughs> says, John Paul? Jerry says, John Paul. <laughs> John Paul, that's right. No, God. Because <laughs> it's John Paul, John Paul. It's a John Paul. <laughs> that, that, you know what? I, like, John I, Paul? I, Jerry goes, John Paul. Okay, that is brilliant because I, you telling me now, this is the first time I'm realizing how beautiful that is for George saying Jean Paul and Jerry saying Jean Paul because his name is Jean Paul Jean Paul. Precisely. That that's great, and you know what, that that's what makes that show so brilliant. It, cause, yeah, the writing. Yeah, the writing is amazing. I mean, I feel like. There are a lot of good things on TV now, but to have that, to have, to have that, because it's, it's so simply complex that it's, it's just absolutely gorgeous. Exactly. I love it. Exactly. That's a great way to word it. I like that. Okay. You got to go bike got, to go bike, right? I got to go bike to go bike. It was great, uh, uh, you know, recording the second, um, the second uh, show here. And thank you for Earl. Uh, I know you're listening and. And um, feel free to call in, not all the time, Earl, but, but, but please <laughs> call back in. Call back in in a couple of weeks or something, Earl. Spread it out. Yeah, spread it out. All right, I'll see you later. All right, bye. Bye. Hold on one second. Listen. Good afternoon. Yes, I was calling on your uh, Louisiana truck for first thing tomorrow morning. Okay, I can f- you first thing tomorrow morning in Crowley, Louisiana. It's 34 miles away from you. Uh, deliver to Fort Pierce, Florida the next day. And I can pay you a lot. I could pay you a lot of money. Yeah, <laughs> I know. It's for Crowley, Louisiana to Fort Pierce. Okay. Um, yeah, delivery next day. So can you do it for us then? I mean, we're, I, look, I, I'm better to work with, right? I'm nicer to, I'm nicer sounding than the guy. All right. <laughs> okay. Um, can you, can you, I, I know that you're in the driver's seat because you have the truck and we need the truck, but could you, you couldn't even do for if I could get, cause I got to call my customer right now. Could you do if I could do? Okay. Okay. Thank Um, they, Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. <clears throat> Here's a question for you. Okay. I, I, you're I, back. I, no, I'm not back yet, so I'm not saying thank you for holding, but I am saying it's. Uh, I'm about 32 seconds away from being done, so hold on one second. You there, sir? Yeah. Okay. Great. Well, what? Um, so I have your. Imp- what is your email address? I know that he's going to approve it because they need this done. It's for a USDA customer. So I will email this to you in about five minutes. It's your load, okay? Thank you. Thank you. My name is Nicole. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Thank you for holding. This is Nicole, and I have you back on the line. 